Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John, and this is a review of the dashboard course from my online training hub. So I've personally paid for and taken this course, and I learned a lot about creating dashboards and charts from it, and I just wanted to create a quick review so you can learn from it as well if you're thinking about signing up. So first of all, your teacher for this course is Minda Tracy. And Minda has over 20 years of experience uh, with Excel. And she also writes the blog at myonlinetrainginghub.com. And she's a fantastic teacher and does a great job of explaining these techniques and uh, how to create charts and dashboards. So once you sign up for the course, uh, basically I'm logged in here at My Online Training Hub. And this is the course syllabus down below. And you can see you get almost nine hours of video on Excel dashboards and then another three and a half video hours of video on related training and this is kind of some of the foundations or the Excel basics you'll need to uh, create dashboards. So down below the uh, course is broken up into 10 sessions um, and it basically progresses through from more beginning, beginner techniques into some advanced principles. Uh, but you start by getting your data ready, then going into design principles, and then you learn about all the different types of charts you can put in your dashboard, interactive tr controls to make the dashboard interactive, how to analyze your data, automate it, uh, put it all together and distribute your dashboard. So it covers everything you'll need to create a dashboard. And I just want to jump into one of these sessions here. I think session four is probably my favorite session because it contains all these different videos on uh, different chart types. So you'll see here there's a bunch of different videos on different chart types and you can click this link here to watch the video. Uh, it'll just pop up in a new window. And you also notice that these, this is the length of the video here and the, all these videos are very short in length. And I really like that aspect of this course because it allows you to just learn one topic in a very short amount of time and you can always come back and rewatch these videos if you want to use a specific chart for a dashboard or a project that you're working on. The other nice thing is down at the bottom of this page, uh, you can actually download the workbook that uh, Minda is using and follow along with her in the course. So here I have one of the workbooks for session four and basically it's splitting up into all these different sheets with the different chart types here and you could just click this button to go directly to that sheet for each one and as you can see as I uh, scroll through these different worksheets here there's a ton of information um, not only on the chart itself so you can actually just copy and paste this to your own workbook uh, but there's also instructions over on the right side here so you can uh, learn exactly how to do this and uh, there's all these step-by-step -step, uh, procedures here. So it makes it really easy to learn this and also apply it to your own work. And the other nice part is uh, like I said before, the, uh, Minda does a great job of covering the basics as well. So I'm going to jump into session six here. And uh, down below the uh, videos for session six, there's all these related lessons. You get three and a half hours of video on related lessons. And these are more kind of introductory topics. Uh, in this case, you could see the lookup function. So if you're not too familiar with VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP, IF statements, pivot tables, there's a ton of videos here with great information that'll kind of teach you the foundations or the basics of techniques that you'll use to create a dashboard. So again, this course will not only help you create charts and dashboards, but it'll also help you communicate your data effectively. And I think that's a really important skill to have today is the ability to communicate our data and our findings to executives and management. So if you're interested in signing up for the course, uh, basically I'll put a link below to the sign up page and down at the bottom here you can choose your membership level. There's a few different packages that you can get for the course uh, and there's also a download option available. The second option down here is a download option that allows you to download the videos and basically keep them forever. Uh, this is the choice I went with and I'm glad I did because I believe I purchased the course over three years ago now and I am still watching the videos uh, because I was able to download them. So it's totally up to you. Uh, that's just my recommendation. Uh, but if you have any questions or anything, please leave a comment below or you can contact me directly at john at excelcampus.com and I hope you have a great day and thanks for watching.